Excuse me, miss. Can I ask you something? Of course. I'm the director of a casting agency. Have you ever thought about acting? I've never considered anything less than a leading role. Well, we generally cast more modest roles. Don't worry about it. I end up being an extra all the time, you know? But you could get better parts if you wanted to. You have the physique for it. So if you also have the talent, you just need a little training. And that's all. That come with me, girl, I'll make you a star line is pretty old, if you know what I mean. And I bet you noticed my nice physique when I bent over to pick something up, right? You're not very nice, you creep. I think you're the one who's not very nice. Here, I'll give you my card anyway. Take it. Uh, Mr. Ilhan, I... Uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know it was you. I thought... It's all right. I think I understand what you were thinking. But if you ever decide to change your mind, you've got my number on that card. Did you really mean what you were saying? Most definitely. Just out of curiosity, how much are the extras earning these days? Thanks so much, man. No problem, man. I'll call you about the business we were discussing. I'll take a look at what's going on, talk to some old friends and so on, then I'll let you know. God bless, man. God bless, man. See you soon. So listen, do you think there are rooms available where oh. you're staying? Uh, there are, but I don't think you'd really like it. There's a, a better hotel we can go to. Uh, no, I think we should go to your hotel instead. The more we're out of sight, the better off we are. That way I'll also have somebody I can talk to. Well, don't go getting your hopes up. I only go to the hotel to sleep. I'm usually out during the day. Yeah, all right. I get what you're trying to tell me. When we have money, well, they say that I merely play instruments, you know? But when I have money, they'll call me a musician. <sighs> yeah, you bet, man. They'll even build a music school with your name. It'll be called Rich Ender Toshkin. A conservatory for street music, huh? <laughs> man, when we have money, we'll go to a new party every night. You, you messed everything up for all of us. We would need to pay back the money plus interest. I'll also get a nice guitar. Oh, the gold in the world will never bring your father back to me. I'll get some nice tools to work with, with fancy gold plating, huh? Where have you been, young man? This is the first dinner at our new home, and you are gone. OK, I have to go out. I have to go and show the house to a client. You should come sooner than later, so that the store doesn't stay closed. All right, I'll go as soon as I'm done with the dishes. All right. Sadullah. What are you doing here, huh? You need to go inside. Someone will see you. Let's go. Come in. Go inside. It's as if I've been in exile for months, but now I'm back home. That jackass Yigate is running around with a gun in his hand. Have you come back here to be his target? I have nothing left to lose anymore. My wife has left me. I can't even get into my own house. The only relative I have left is Aliha, but I, I went and stabbed her in the back. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> She's gone mad. She doesn't remember anything that's happened, you know. Are you being serious? <laughs> She's found her peace of mind. Zaliha lives peacefully now. Zaliha's sons have handled the situation. They've had her committed to a mental hospital. She has doctors and nurses to look after. If we could only live as comfortably as she does. <laughs> look, things have just settled down around here. Don't do anything to make Yiga come after us like he did before. 
You did your job, you'll get your money. Look, everything is over now. Mr. Nahat will ruin us if we mess up again. Okay, I've got work to do. Namik, you're back. Mr. Vebby. Yeah, I'll be right over. Let's meet in front of the house. I'm leaving. Keep an eye on the store for me. 